Hello everyone and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption video. It is I, your host, Edgar, and we are back at it again. This time we're going to go visit Louisa. Um, if you don't remember Louisa, she is that teacher that we saved with Mr. Ricketts a while back uh, over here by El Matadero. And when I was pitching up my camp just a second ago, well, before I even started recording, David wasn't around to see this one, um, I was like, I was zoomed out like this, and I was like, man, I don't, I don't see my mission anywhere. Like, I hate that they made the letters, like, white like this. In Red Dead Redemption 2, they fix it, because I think they're, like, they're, like, they're, like, just, like, letters, but they're, like, surrounded in, like, yellow. Like, I think they got, like, a yellow circle around them or something. And they're more easily, you know, you can see them a lot more easy. Uh, I couldn't see this, and I was like, oh, maybe I have to wait for a phone call or something. And then I was like, a fucking phone call? Like, what am I... This is Red Dead. Like, there's no fucking... There's no phone! Like, what the hell am I waiting on? I'm... I'm fucking losing my mind, I'm telling you. Slowly but surely. I act like I've never played this game before, and this is all I would play. And I don't know why. I, ha I have... I have this really weird thing sometimes where I have to land... That fucking waypoint perfectly where I would where I want it where it would make sense. And I just do this to myself. Why do I torture myself? I've played this game so many times and I used to just throw up waypoints like whatever. But it's like, oh no, everything has to look neat. Presentation and whatnot. Not like I can just edit the shit out or you know. Then people wouldn't see the ugly, but no, I am. Just insisting and in making my life more complicated. Anyway, here we go, Louisa. I'll shut the fuck up here in a second. My sister's keeper. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Uh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Adios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Te amo. Emilio works as a driver. We will take his stagecoach. Man, that's a uh, that's really heartbreaking. Um, yeah, that sucks having to Let's be away go. from your family like Before that. I change my mind. Um. Anyway, that guy said, uh, forgive my English, but he spoke perfectly good English to me. But I mean, I guess some people, you know, due to his accent, would think less of him because of that. Which is quite unfortunate. Don't be mean, guys. Uh, be kind to others, regardless of what they look like. Ah, oh, fucking military checkpoint. Mare! Papeles! Este camino está prohibido! What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No la dejen escapar! Madre de Dios! You will not hurt the scroll for as long as I live. Uh. That's a little awkward, sorry. What the fuck? How are you alive? It's you! There we go. <clears throat> that was I almost had a cool guy moment and then I ruined it. Don't you just love that? Hmm. 
Jesus, fuck! That's a Gatling gun! The army is everywhere, looking for rebels. We need to avoid any checkpoints we see. I'm only avoiding him because of your safety. Oh, she got shot, the poor thing! Can't let that happen again. How the hell did they get the message out that our wagon was full of rebels? They don't have cell phones, and it's not like they could have sent the fucking telegram or anything. That is what it's called, right? A telegram? Turn around. On. Uh. Awesome. We did it. Ah, oh, man, I am rusty. Holy fuck! Dudes don't fuck around! The wagon, the wagon! As, t as sturdy as it looks, these things are like fucking paper thin. I wish I could have just taken my horse. But I mean, I guess that would have made the mission too easy, right? Or maybe the girl just isn't comfortable riding in horseback. Who knows? Or maybe having these four horses just, you know, is faster. Thank God for Red Dead 1 physics. That would have been game over right there. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then. Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. <laughs> the hell? Why am I wet? Am I wet? What is that? Do you see this? Oh my glossy and shit. What happened? It looks like I'm wet. Is it coming off? I think I'm drying up. Yeah, I think I was wet. That was weird. Really strange. Anyway, uh, yeah. We can use this as a safe house for some reason. I don't think it ever really gets explained. It just kind of happens. But, we're not going to complain. We're going to skip some time. I just have been doing a lot of things at night time here lately. Oh well. Alright, now we're going to go see. Wait, hold on. Is there a stranger mission nearby? Is that what I just saw? I thought I just saw a stranger mission. Maybe I'm tripping. Oh well. Alright, let's fast travel. I don't know why I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I'm telling you, man, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Alright.
Oh boy. Woo! Easy boys. Are they running away from them? What the hell's going on over there? I have no idea what's going on. Anyway. Must a survivor die? Oh, Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! What's wrong, Louisa? I don't wait for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, and he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where's he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already, but his family do not approve. How could they? Well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me. The woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him, or die trying. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you are truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. Let's go, Mr. Marston. Everything about that scene just now. The music. Ah, it's so fucking... I fucking love this game. I love this franchise. It's like a fucking movie, bro. How could you not? You know what I mean? Like, everything is just set up so well. The music sometimes just lines up perfectly. It's amazing. You know, I'm actually, um... By the time this video comes out, I think it should already be out. But David and I have been working on a trailer for, like, you know, the coming back of our playthrough that we're gonna do on TikTok. And I'll post it on YouTube, too, because I haven't posted a YouTube short in a minute. Um... But, dude, this trailer is gonna be... Chef's kiss. I... When it comes to trailer making, um... In my opinion, nobody makes trailers like Rockstar does. Rockstar makes such amazing fucking trailers for their video games. Like, me and David used to watch those back to back, like, up until the release of GTA 5. Like, GTA 5 had, had some, some awesome trailers. Uh... <clears throat> Like and like at like the 10th anniversary of like certain games, like I think they did one for Vice City. Dope ass trailers. Um, you guys should check them out. Just look up like old GTA trailers or like you know GTA 5 trailers if you haven't seen them. Just like they're very cinematic and it it really hypes up the game. They do a really good job of selling their game through their trailers. Um, over the years, you know, Rockstar's made some decisions that I don't 100% agree with, but I cannot deny that they have a very cine they have they have a cinematic style that just is out of this world like it's ridiculously good um their sense for aesthetic and you know shots and music and like edits and whatnot just are fucking great and the trailer that we made um you know, I based it off a lot of their style. Like, you know, there's a lot of edits on TikTok flying around of, you know, you know, John Marston talking about his past and all that and whatnot. But, you know, I really, I really, I love pouring my heart into these things because I really want to sell this particular game. Because I've been saying it the whole playthrough, but this game after playing Red Dead Redemption 2 just hits fucking different, I am telling you. Alright, and there's no dialogue in this ride, I've just been using it to say my own fucking dialogue. But I'll just go ahead and skip it. Uh, cause I could have been saying this the whole time I was playing the game. <laughs> but it is what it is, I guess. Alright, here we are. It's not far now. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> There it is. You have to find a way in. I'll do my best. 
There is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please be careful. There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Well, if he's alive, I'll try to make sure he stays that way. I have some friends waiting for me near the river. Bring Abraham there. Good luck. All you right. can do this. You have God on your side. We have God and anime on our side. And Assassin's Creed games? Like, when you think of stealth, what do you guys think of? I think of Assassin's Creed. Alright. Gonna whip out our knife here. Sniper rifle ammo. Awkward. Wait, can I get free more ammo? Yeah, let's go. Did they kill him again? How the? Who the fuck am I supposed to kill that keeps killing him? What am I doing wrong here? that did at that time I can't believe I filled that so many times that's crazy yeah yeah now please come be free senor Luisa sent me we have to meet her by the river yeah Luisa the girl you're marrying oh yes such a devoted thing el amor de mi vida now get us a horse, my friend. I am in no condition to ride myself. Guess I can't use my own horse, even though I can whistle for it. Fuck it. Yeah. Where the fuck are you, Reyes? Oh, there you are. Come on. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Vamos. Let's hurry to Louisa. Come on. Louisa sent me. Vamos, get the prisa. The army's coming. I was about to blast this motherfucker away. Not really. I wasn't ready for him. Carajo, here they come. I wait. Uh. There we go. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Me not John Parson. I used to say that all the time. That shit was great. You got a problem with me. Jesus Christ. Oh. Fuck. What is your name, my friend? John Marston. No, oh, the American who is working for Allende. I ain't working for nobody. I'm here because Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. 
Well, try to resist the urge. How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa if you want her. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You have been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I am free again. I will write a poem about these days. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Allende's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you've done is get on the back of this horse, my friend. We saw his head. Buena suerte, compadre. Come on. There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. Abraham. Mr. Marston, Oy. the revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men, and you return. You will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! Where tu you Bella? Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tú sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. This motherfucker keeps calling her Lauda, bruh. Oh well. Look at you, horsey. Standing there all proud and shit. Well, I'm gonna leave you there because I don't need you, boy. And where's my horse at? Okay. There we go. And that is another mission done, and I am at my. I am at my. my I am at my. Uh, I am at my mark, <laughs> at my time mark, so I will go ahead and let you guys go here. Uh, it's been a fun one. We met, we got to see a little bit more of Luisa. Luisa is an awesome character. She is great. We love her. We love to see her. Uh, and we got to see Abraham, Abraham Reyes, which is a goofy ass character, kind of a kind of kind of a piece of shit in his own right, but you know. He, he seems like an okay person, I guess. Well, you'll, you'll see more of him later. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, don't forget to check out our TikTok. That is at Red Ribbon REC or Red Ribbon Rec. However you want to pronounce that. Uh, and we'll see you another time. Cue the outro.